Looking for an all-inclusive resort in Marrakesh that has all the facilities and entertainment that would keep you happy and amused? We have you covered. Welcome back to the Ritzy Travel Guide, where we cover interesting and fun vacations around the world. This week we cover the Ibero Star Club Palm Marie in Marrakesh, Morocco. It's very available for booking online and is a popular search result at the moment. It's keenly priced and is getting a lot of bookings. We wanted to find out why, so we recently went there to put it through its paces and see if it is indeed worthy of a stay. Iberostar Club Palmery is about 30 minutes from the airport and is part of the Spanish chain which has hotels all around the world. This is a four-star all-inclusive resort with huge pools, large parkland gardens and a myriad of sports and entertainment facilities. It's aiming to keep you busy once you've been in town to the markets and want to come back for food, drinks and something else to keep you busy. Part of its all-inclusive facilities are the sporting ones, such as, would you believe it, a circus trapeze facility. OK, this is going to be a bit of fun. Circus work. Are we volunteering for this? Apparently so. Heart's oh. going pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter. One, two, three. There's also the obligatory tennis courts, and in a nod to Europe and its previous French colonial ancestry, a ball pit, which we enjoyed in the evenings. More energetically, there is also daily samba and keep fit. And time for Zumba. Let's Zumba. In the evenings, there's a theatre which puts on nightly entertainment. Added to which, there are also strollers and hotel musicians dotted around the resort. Oh, well, hello, Moroccan entertainment. Feel free to join in now. Do you know the words? One of the most enjoyable spots while we were there was the outdoor courtyard, which puts on additional entertainment before dinner. Normally once per week there is the free hotel manager's party with the Prosecco Tower. Well hello, here we are at the manager's cocktail evening, Prosecco in hand, next to the um, Prosecco fountain. I would have to say, it's nicely done and it was a fun evening. Mention also to the barmen, who were approachable and entertaining. Iberostar Star Club is all-inclusive and a fair amount of alcohol and non-alcoholic drinks are available. Under the all-inclusive plan, you're eligible to have locally produced brands. If you want the international ones, they will cost you extra. So how's the food? There is the main buffet, where you take the majority of the food, and there's a Moroccan a la carte, which was always booked and we never managed to get in. Both are included in the price. There was the usual selection of hot and cold foods, which I would have to say was reasonably varied. They did make an effort most days to change it up. The breakfast buffet was really quite extensive, with a lot of French pastries. There was also the usual selections of hams and cheeses. In fact, a lot of cheeses. Whilst there was no barista coffee, there were the machines available to you. As for the rooms, I think they're quite reasonably done, and I would describe it as desert colours. No complaints here. Our room had a nice balcony to the pool area. Now, one big point to mention here is that the vast majority of resort hotels in Marrakesh are located on the outskirts of the city, sometimes up to 30 minutes away. So, if you're the type of person who is wanting to just step out the door into the heart of Marrakesh and the Medina, this is definitely not the case for the majority of resort hotels. Okay, let's look at some of the reviews people have made and see if we agree with them. 
This one here. I had a great time. Serene environment with lots of foods and drink. Yes, I would agree. It was overall a serene environment and there was more than sufficient food and drinks. This one here. Good hotel with lovely staff. Good position and good food. Position? Mm. It's a bit far out. If you're doing lots of activities in the Palm Marie Desert, then fair enough. But that half hour trip into the souk and markets each day, it did get a bit tiring. And this one, perfect stay for family holiday. That I would 100% agree with. If you have a family, personally, particularly if they're young children, I think it possibly makes more sense for you than staying at a Riyadh. There is way more for a family to do than there is in the center of town. Okay, let's start with the scoreboard and what's included in the all-inclusive package and whether we think it's good or not. First off, the drinks. We're going to give this a good. And the reason for not giving it an excellent, yes, there are drinks throughout the day, but they are house brand, not well-known brands included in the price. And if you're having wine, it's local Moroccan wine. I'm not trying to say anything bad against the local Moroccan wine industry, but maybe it's not quite there yet. Now on to the food. Can only rate this for the buffet because, as mentioned before, could not get into the a la carte restaurant. It was perpetually booked our entire stay. For the buffet, we're going to give it good. Again, not quite up to excellent because it was a bit samey. There could have been more variety. However, the standout was the breakfast buffet. That really was very good. Now on to the entertainment. It was on most nights. We thought they tried their best. We'll also give that a good. Resort areas and facilities. We're going to give that an excellent. There's so much to do on the sports front. The pools are excellent. The circus trapeze is very unusual. Even if you never try that, it's worth having a laugh looking at others who do. There was keep fit, there was Zumba, there was archery. Plenty for the family to do. Now onto the scoreboard for price. Now, this all depends who you booked it with. Several companies are doing flight included, hotel only. So it all very much depends who you booked it with. Our package was flight and hotel all inclusive bundled into one. In our case, we thought the price was excellent. Now at this juncture, there is one interesting comparison to make. Iberostar is a very similar offering to Club Med. Now we've been to both Club Med and Iberostar at various times around the world. They are quite similar in their offering. A key difference possibly for some is in the drinks. Club Med is famous for only giving drinks and alcoholic drinks at mealtimes. Iberostar, they are available all the time. Final overall score we're going to give for the Iberostar Club Palmerie is excellent. We would certainly encourage people to try it, especially if you're a family. Now we do have a separate video saying should you stay at a resort hotel in Marrakesh or in one of their traditional Riyadhs. Please take a look at that one as we cover a slightly different angle, which is better for you. We go through the various pros and cons and help you come to a conclusion on that. We also on our channel have several other videos on Marrakesh, the tours and what would be good for you to try. Please take a look at those, they're in our Marrakesh playlist. If this has been helpful, please consider clicking the subscribe button. Thanks so much for joining us on the Ritzy Travel Guide. We'll see you in the next one.